Hey guys, this is Lindell with Gamers Nexus, and I am joined by Steve with your weekly hardware recap. AMD launches the R9380X, which is a fully enabled Tonga GPU. It uses the same GPU as the 285 and the 380, but instead of coming in just under 1800 cores, it actually has 2048. That's right. So on the previous GPUs, the 285 and the 380, which are, it's not quite a rebrand, it's more of a refresh. There are now 2048 cores. Previously, you had 1792 because Tonga was kind of locked. And the 380X is a $230 MSRP GPU, but the board partners, the AIBs, will sell it at about 240, 250, depending on if they're pre overclocked or not. So that is out there, and it should be available for purchase soon, if not already. We've done the full benchmark. It competes directly with NVIDIA's GTX 960, and you can check the full review on the channel, on the website, if you want to see the numbers, how it performs. In general, the 380X is one of the best AMD cards I've tested in a long time, which is good because they've needed that. The next major news item is NVIDIA's Pascal GPU, which is a pretty big deal for GPUs. We've been stuck in the 20 nanometer range for a while now in terms of the fab process, the node, the process node. And this is moving down to 16 nanometer FinFET process, which is something we'll discuss later in a deeper article. The Pascal architecture introduces HBM version 2, high bandwidth memory version 2, which is capable of a capacity of 16 gigabytes, up to 32 gigabytes even, but the main limiter there is can the manufacturers of that memory, being Samsung, Hynix, and those folks, actually produce the yield necessary to achieve a 32 gigabyte capacity with HBM version 2. Yeah. AMD previously launched a Fury X as the first GPU with HBM at 4 gig with about half the throughput of what they're currently boasting with the Pascal architecture. Yeah, so the new Pascal Arc is looking to be about one terabyte per second throughput, which is pretty it's impressive. insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> NVIDIA officially takes DesignWorks VR and GameWorks VR out of beta. These are meant to help with development and performance in virtual reality, with NVIDIA claiming up to 50% gains. That's right. So that is the big news for GameWorks and DesignWorks VR, which GameWorks has been a little bit of uh, controversy lately, but overall it is an NVIDIA-assisted way for developers, Unreal Engine in particular, to try and build their support for day one readiness with virtual reality technologies. Sapphire has published a software tool enabling you to overvolt their Fury GPUs. Right, so with the Fury GPUs, including the Fury X, the R9 Fury, Fury Nano, all of those, when they first launched, you could do some limited overclocking, and even if you forced it through Afterburner, some memory overclocking, but there was no overvolting available, which was a big problem because you could only push the Fury X from memory in my testing about 50 megahertz. That's really not going to get you more than 5% more FPS in games. Overvolting will allow the stability needed to overclock higher, which means better performance claims from AMD cards that are overclocked and overvolted. And this ties in with claims made by AMD's Roy Taylor on Twitter previously, who said that the, uh, I think it was something along the lines of just wait for overvolting or for proper overclocking tools. Yeah. So they're here now, we don't have to wait anymore, and we can try and test it out, publish some more stuff on that once, uh, once we've got our hands on it. AMD is bundling Star Wars Battlefront with the R9 Fury GPU. This promo is going to run from now until January 31st, and codes have to be redeemed in, uh, by February 29th. The R9 Fury is the only GPU eligible for this promo. Right, no Fury X, no Fury Nano, and we've already benchmarked Star Wars Battlefront, unfortunately not with the Furies because we had them on loan, but we have the other AMD and NVIDIA cards in that benchmark on the channel, on the website if you're curious. But that is all for this week's Hardware News Recap. Hit the link for Patreon in the post-roll video if you're interested in helping us out. Subscribe as always, and we'll see you all next time.